Hello everyone, my name is Niven, and I'm very tired, you know, it's November, days are getting shorter, and depression too. Anyways, today I am playing the game called the Warped House, and um, yeah, let's start the game. Let's play the game. So we're in the game. Oh. Hey, you mind if we go over your statement again? Uh, we were looking through it and we realized there's a few things we need to clarify. Okay. So we know you were exploring the woods and you say that you came across this house. Yes. Uh, let's probably start from there. You said there was just a lantern lying there on a bit of wood. Yes. Oh. Oh, look at my shadow. Look, look at the shadow. He's like holding his hand weirdly all right so this is a narrative driven uh, game oh I'm holding the now this makes sense oh that's cool oh look at this empty big mansion let's go in all right what the fuck just happened where is the fucking door uh, I can go through the wind well there are no windows too hmm Let's check this. No escape. Is this a smiley face or is this like uh, M? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this uh, chandelier. Nice. All right, so we need the code. Uh, press E to go back. Oh, so this is a puzzle game. Neat. Is there anything from this side? No. I hope this door won't disappear. Please don't disappear. No, you didn't actually. Oh, this this is like a PNG slapped on the texture. Damn it, man. Uh, let's not go in that room yet. We are not ready to. Uh... Yeah, this room seems uh, quite nice. Oh, there was a jump scare right there, but I missed it. Three, six, seven. All right, that's great. So I don't need to go into that uh, bloody room. Three. Uh, it's six, and it's... Oh, yeah, I'm smart. Oh, fuck. Is there something behind me? Oh, let's turn slowly. Of course it's not. Oh, we took this one. And for some weird reason, there is static coming in my left fucking ear. Uh, he's always watching. Oh, like a big brother. That's a 1984 reference. Which most of you won't get because most of you are un uneducated and just watch uh, Marvel movies. No escape. Find unicorn. Okay. Let's find the unicorn. The room moves. Oh, no shit. Uh, can't run. Alright. Stop. Um, fine. Let's put just put the unicorn here. Yeah! So is this the ending of the game? I am behind. I am behind. Alright. Oh, I was so scared. There's just too many things about your statement that don't make sense. I mean, shadow creatures aside, even how we found you. Uh, according to your injuries, you fell off the second story of that what? house. Except for the fact that the windows don't open and none of them are broken, so we're really not sure how you got out to be able to fall in the first place. But I phased it. theory is that you must have somehow got onto the roof and fallen off. We're still not sure how, though. And that this explanation of a shadow creature that you keep giving us is consequence of you hitting your head on the way down. Honestly, if I were you, I would probably just try to forget about this. I mean, there's nothing else you can do, really, unless you want us to try and hunt down a creature that in all likelihood probably doesn't exist. Okay, well, first off, the game was generic. I kind of um, enjoyed 
some parts of it. The puzzle part was kind of cool. Reminded me of Resident Evil. The story... I, I didn't get the story. If it's not linear, then I didn't get it. Because we were, I think, being held by police or someone who questioned the entire experience we had. And then, well, um, yeah, we fell off the second floor and... Uh, I mean, I thought we were like a burglar going in the house and trying to steal something and then we got ambushed by a ghostly monster figure you know how it happens in games nowadays anyways i like the game yeah it was neat it was good it was generic of course but uh, i wouldn't expect something big especially from the screenshots yet this is a good work and as long as the developers are creating games and they're trying to improve their work, I mean, it's it's good for me. Thanks everyone for watching and have amazing day.